Welcome to this introduction to Speedstack SI version 2018. Speedstack SI is a bundle of Speedstack PCB layer stack up design and documentation tool and SI9000 insertion loss field solver. Until now, Speedstack has primarily been capable of holding the stack up documentation and the impedance control documentation. But for 2018, Pol is introducing the ability to have full insertion loss documentation and design parameters built into Speedstack. This brief presentation will show you how. Towards the end of the presentation, I'll also introduce you to a mid-year update for Speedstack SI, which introduces Cannonball Hero method for modeling surface roughness in both SI9000E and Speedstack SI. A brief note for existing Speedstack customers, because of the extensive changes behind the scenes, version 18 won't coexist with version 17. However, we're happy to offer you spare licenses to manage the changeover. You will need to upgrade simultaneously both your SI9000 and Speedstack in order to see the changes in Speedstack 2018. To give Speedstack the capability of displaying and documenting the insertion loss, it now needs the laminate properties, including the loss tangent, tan delta, sometimes called DF or the dissipation factor added into the interface, plus the trace conductivity and the copper roughness. You can also add an operating frequency range. You add transmission lines to Speedstack in the same way as previous versions, However, if you want to use insertion loss modeling, you use the new gigahertz icon, which is on the right of the control impedance tab. If you use the SI9000, you'll find the frequency dependent properties in Speedstack are intentionally familiar to you. The primary differences between Speedstack and SI9000 are the ability to set the dielectric constant values from the stack up materials and to include the loss graph in printout for the particular structure you're working on. Because not every structure requires insertion loss calculation, this is a set on and off by a dialog. You can also see the familiar SI9000 graph showing conductor loss, dielectric loss, attenuation and the loss with roughness and the total attenuation with roughness. In addition to a graphical display, you can also display tabular information of the frequency, impedance, impedance magnitude, inductance per unit length, uh, resistance, capacitance, conductance, and skin depth, and a whole range of other transmission line parameters. On the next slide, I'll bring your attention to the surface roughness compensation, where we can model four commonly used surface roughness compensation methods, and in this case, we're going to focus on the Hure method. As I mentioned in the introduction, Speedstack needs to know comprehensive material information in order to predict the insertion loss. So here we're able to look at the frequency of interest, the reference dielectric constant, and the reference loss tangent, and as we sweep the frequency, we causally extrapolate the dielectric constant and the loss tangent using svensson georgievich method. In this case, we're using Hure roughness modeling, and Hure uses um, the ball radius of the surface of the copper and the area of ball count and the number of balls in an area to accurately model the roughness effect on insertion loss over the frequency range you're working with. Later on in this presentation, I'll give you an introduction to the second half release of Speedstack SI in 2018, which brings in Cannonball Hure um, techniques to make this data entry much easier for you. Here's an example of a structure with a differential edge coupled coated microstrip. And you can see here that Speedstack records the characteristics both in odd mode and even mode as well as drawing the graphs of the structure itself. 
Another example here of a differential offset strip line. And in this case, you can see we're showing the result presentation per inch, but you could choose per meter or per length of line for the particular structure you're interested in. If you need to contact Polar for support when you're using SpeedStack, you'll need your PolarCare contract number, and you'll find that now encoded in the Help About screen. You can easily find access to your PolarCare number under the PolarCare contract number in Help About. The technical report shows huge enhancements over previous versions of SpeedStack. Now you can see the stack up itself, the drilling, um, and the material documentation, as well as the structure documentation, but also a comprehensive insertion loss graphical report for every single structure you've requested on the stack up. Zooming in on the insertion loss, you can see that on the printout, the type of structure, short form details about the structure, and the frequency of interest, and then the graph showing you all of the insertion loss characteristics plus a loss budget so you can see where the insertion loss exceeds the, exceed the permitted insertion loss in the loss budget. You don't need to print out every structure simply by selecting include loss graph in the structure for the report in the print settings this will select only the structures where you're interested in, in insertion loss. There are also some customer requested enhancements to the technical report, such as new user selectable options to show dimensional arrow for solder mask to solder mask thickness and copper to copper thickness and laminate to laminate thickness on the stack up technical report. Additionally, we've allowed you to show the stack up cost or withhold the stack up cost if it's confidential when you're printing the technical report to your customers. Until now, SpeedStack customers using SI9000 would find that much of the insertion loss information was lost when copying into SpeedStack. The introduction of SpeedStack 2018 means that you can comprehensively copy and paste information back and forth from SpeedStack into SI9000. The SI9000 giving you a more free and easy interface to experiment with what if scenarios and the SpeedStack interface allowing you to lock down a design once you've chosen on your values but now SpeedStack is a container for all of the insertion loss data, which you may have lost when you previously worked with earlier generations of SpeedStack SI. Because there are so many changes under the hood with SpeedStack and SI9000, it's important you read this note and check with your local Polar office before you upgrade. In the introduction, I promised an update of what's happening with the introduction of Cannonball Hero method into both SpeedStack and SI9000E. And the next two slides show you the improvements to the interface, which roll out in mid-2018. Hero modeling of roughness is a proven way to increase the accuracy of roughness modeling over earlier models for roughness, such as Hammerstat, which are many, many years old and have stood the test of time well, but are no longer sufficient for current operating frequencies. What's not so easy is to provide the uh, scanning electron microscope information and process that to feed into the dimensional requirements that are needed for Hure model. So we worked with Bert Saminovich of Lamsim Enterprises to add the Cannonball Hure model into SpeedStack and SI9000. The Cannonball model allows you to enter a simple RZ mat roughness in micrometers um, and the same for the drum side copper. And those two numbers can automatically generate approximate inputs for the Hero model. Lamsim Enterprises papers have proven this to be effective up to at least 45 gigahertz. And this is a very convenient way of getting approximate Hure figures into the SpeedStack and SI9000. At Polar, we've been working on this model for some time, but we've held off 
the release of Cannonball Hure in SI9000 until the Speedstack SI2018 was ready to accept the data. So we've now got a simultaneous release of both products, which will occur in mid-2018, both supporting the Cannonball Hure model. Many thanks for watching this brief introduction to Speedstack SI2018. If you'd like more information, please contact your local Polar office the details can be found on the following slide.